Well, hello, YouTubers. It's the Geek Redneck. And today is Monday, March 9th, 2015. And I kind of thought I would do a quick video uh, about something new that I got. And, uh, well, it might not be so quick. Now, many of you will remember a few months ago, I got myself, or actually two months ago, almost exactly, I got myself a really nice three inch thick memory foam mattress topper, which you can actually see kind of thrown over there in the in front of the closet door. Uh, pulled it off the bed. Very nice. Uh, was Serta, I think was the brand, but it's actually made by uh, Sleep Innovations or whatever. But very nice thick memory foam. Uh, I think it's either three or four pound density. Um, the thing has just been wonderful and you know after sleeping on that for a week I was like oh my god I've got to start saving up to get a full-on memory foam mattress and uh, this mattress here that I've been using it's not a, b a bad mattress by any means it's actually very nice I got it from Sears outlet I think and I think the retail was something like $1,200 or something crazy stupid like that. Uh, but I got it for, uh, I think it was $418 plus tax. So it ended up being about around $450. Bucks. And it's a very nice, I want to say it's either Serta or Sealy. It's a pillow top mattress. Very, very plush. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's a good inch and a half there of just pillow, pillow top. Um, got this thing, I think it was back in May or June of last year of 2014, so it's seen very little use, still very new, no blemishes, nothing like that, uh, but, you know, after sleeping on that memory foam topper, and I had mentioned before that I've slept on memory foam, full on memory foam mattresses in a hotel before, and the it's just the best night of sleep you could possibly hope for. Uh, this thing, I keep telling people, uh, this memory foam mattress topper literally has changed my life. And it's not even really an exaggeration. Uh, within a week of putting that memory foam topper on this bed, I was actually sleeping tons better. Uh, I'm in a better mood overall. I mean, I have more energy throughout the day. And, you know, I do look forward to crawling back into bed at night. So, with that being said, uh, we'll get right to the meat of the video. And there's the damn cat at the window. Now, what on earth could be in this gigantic, I mean gigantic shipping box upside down too and when I say gigantic this thing is uh well I want to say about five and a half feet tall this box is <laughs> well I got one end of it open anyway uh, this box I don't think I mentioned it uh, this, this thing is rated, the shipping weight is 110 pounds. And I tell you what, it is every, feels every bit of that 110 pounds. But, now I gotta figure out how to get it out of the box. Ordinarily, I would just turn it up on its end, but it's such a long box. Gee whiz. Uh, it was taped pretty securely though, and of course all along the side The box is put together with some pretty tough staples. I was actually just going to try and rip it by hand Pull these staples out, but I couldn't I had to go get a, a utility knife so Let's get this out of the box uh, That wasn't too difficult Just barely enough room to get it out inside this room um, if I thought about it more maybe I would have taken it out of the box out there but then again that would have ruined my partially dramatic unboxing 
efforts. <laughs> so, yeah, what we have here, I um, guess I'll go ahead and tell you if you couldn't have guessed, is a queen size memory foam mattress. This is actually, I think I have it up here on the computer somewhere. This is a Hometics branded 12 inch memory foam mattress. Um, I've seen this go on sale quite a few times in the past at Walmart. Um, you can see this is the queen size and it says was $3.99. Um, I've actually seen it for less than this. I paid the $279.88 for it, but I had actually just missed a sale where it was $229 uh, for the queen size. So, yeah, but I wanted it. Anyway, as you can see here, it's, it's kind of unique. I've looked at a bunch of other mattresses, 12-inch ones from from you know sleep innovations which may very well end up being who makes this I have a hard time believing that it's actually made by Hometics which is sort of a well it used to be a a good brand now it's sort of relegated to uh, Walmart and things like uh, foot spas and back massagers and things like that whatever it's branded Hometics but it has a ton of good reviews there's only they list 47 here but there's another website with like I don't know several thousand good reviews and this has actually been featured on slick deals a number of times and the threads there for the mattress are quite uh, extensive and and mostly very 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 positive glowing reviews so uh, as you can see here they show a sort of a cutaway of the mattress Again, it's a 12-inch mattress, and they show the top layer being uh, inch and a half memory foam, three-pound memory foam. Not the highest density, but still pretty good. Uh, and then you have three inches of firm foam. I don't believe that's memory foam. I believe it's just latex. Uh, then underneath that, you have another three inches of what they call breezy -Z -Z or something, ventilating memory foam. I guess that silly breeze uh, zzz name is supposed to convey uh, that it's ventilated, you know, that it, you're not going to overheat or whatever, like some memory foam mattresses. It does say it's memory foam, ventilating memory foam, which I find pretty interesting that they would have two different layers of memory foam um, sandwiching just a regular layer of foam, but whatever. Um, that's pretty nice. And then you have four and a half inches at the bottom of just sort of foundation foam, which is just latex, really dense latex foam. So, you know, I've seen some memory foam mattresses, 12 inches, that have more than an inch and a half of memory foam at the top. Uh, that may not concern me a little, but the glowing reviews sort of make that a non-issue. I mean, everybody seems to love it. So, and then again, I also have that memory, tone, memory foam topper that I can use with this if I want. Uh, that is actually sitting over here still in the corner. <laughs> um, that extra three inches. It just all depends on whether I can get the sheets to fit or not. But I'm going to try sleeping on it just as is without the topper and to see how I like it. So, uh, again, Hometics brand, I'd be interested to find out who actually makes it. And maybe as part of the unpackaging, I'll actually get to find that out. But the point I wanted to get across is it's got really, really glowing reviews. I actually had a friend on Facebook who bought this ahead of me when I posted it uh, at its sale price at the hot deal uh, uh, that was $2.29. And she absolutely loves it. So, you know, that was all I needed. And again, here's my really old, uh, kind of cruddy box springs. Um, I do believe it says that you can use this uh, memory foam mattress with or without an actual box spring. So you can just use it with a platform. Uh, you find find a lot of them of platforms. 
and bed frames made specifically for memory foam or you can use it with the box springs and I may end up uh, ditching this box springs later on and building my own platform for it but for now I'm just going to use this old metal bed frame and, and old, my old box springs okay well I got the mattress completely out of the box and one end of it I could see a piece of paper in so I cut a, a little hole there in this outer plastic and pulled this out and it is instructions that basically say that uh, cut open the mattress let it inflate itself although it's not really inflating it's more like expanding because they compress the foam into these boxes they squeeze it all down squeeze all the air out of the foam and then seal it in plastic and uh, that way they can you know <clears throat> ship it in the smallest packaging possible and so when you open it up just like with the memory foam topper if you guys saw that video that I did um, it sort of slowly expands so kind of looking at it here and I can see that there's actually two different plastic bags there's one outer one um, and then there's an inner one that the mattress is actually sealed in so I'm gonna take the outer one so the so little scissors and there's the first outer outer plastic uh, that it was shipped in is removed <clears throat> Toss that over there and wait for the stupid camera to decide that it wants to focus. Shut up, cat. And it looks like that the way it's going to unroll, it looks like this is the bottom of the mattress. But you can sort of see how it's put together um, <clears throat> as it unrolls. I haven't really unsealed it yet. It's still sealed in this plastic. So it's just sort of expanding just because I took the outer uh, the outer uh, plastic off. And there must be a hole in it somewhere because I can hear something hissing over there. So without waiting too much longer, I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and get this other plastic off. But first, I'm going to flip try and flip this over. So I'm pretty sure this is the bottom of the mattress. Whoo, man, I got it flipped. Man, this thing is heavy. It's about twice as heavy as my old mattress, my old inner spring mattress. So now I can very carefully take my scissors here and can you guys hear that? That is the air rushing in. So I want to get this done in a hurry. Sorry, I should have got a tripod, but you guys will just have to trust me. <laughs> this thing, it's already expanding. Look at it. Wow. Let's see if I can set you guys down. take that long it is expanding and in a big damn hurry
you guys can see how fast and how thick uh, <laughs> the mattress is. Um, it's uh, it's expanding in a hurry. So now I gotta try and pull this plastic all out. Woohoo! Fat boy out of breath. Ah, I got it up there. Got all the plastic out from underneath it. And I do have it right side up. Thank goodness. But let me tell you, this thing is like wrestling with, I don't know, a friggin' sumo wrestler or something. It is heavy, and because it's so flexible and so dense at the same time, it's just a, whew, it's a booger. Hope I don't have to move this thing a lot or anywhere. But here, as you can see, you know the instructions say allow 48 hours for it to expand to its full potential or to its full size. But here, it's been maybe 20 minutes since I first opened the package and took it out and uh, let it start expanding. And it's pretty much ready to go. I mean, it's already expanded. Now, it may come up a little bit more. You know, but we're talking about like millimeters or something. It's pretty much at its full size. And that really, it depends on how hot it is, what the temperature is um, in the room that you unpack it in. Like if you unpack it in a room temperature room, say 72, 74 degrees, it's going to expand pretty dang fast. Um, within a few hours, it's going to be fully expanded, you know. Fully, fully. They say 48 hours to be, you know, safe or whatever. But in a few hours, it's going to be expanded. Now, versus, say, opening this in a 60-degree room, um, it's probably going to take quite a bit longer to expand. You would be really surprised at how much temperature really affects memory foam. I mean, part of the reason memory foam is memory foam, it's not just the pressure that you put on it and leave your imprints. You know, it's a... Uh, it's also temperature, it's your body warmth that makes that memory foam, uh, you know, deform, I guess is the word. So I'm sitting here, and you can actually clearly feel, if you feel through this nice uh, terry cloth cover that they give you, it actually comes on the mattress, you could see it when I was, uh, you know, unpackaging. Uh, if you feel through it though, you can actually feel the layers of memory foam. And sure enough, this top layer definitely feels like a memory foam. Then there's a layer, oh, right about here or so. And it just feels like your standard latex um, foam. You know, it doesn't really have any memory aspect to it. And then you come further down, and there's actually a pretty good size layer of what they call the, the pocketed breeze or whatever memory foam which is ventilated um, but you can actually feel it um, and feel the you know that it is memory foam so they're not lying which is good and then down here we have really firm standard uh, what they call foundation foam it's just a really dense probably latex foam so it's actually pretty nice I think you're actually getting quite a bit more memory foam uh, than most other manufacturers give you you know I looked at all the sleep innovations and signature sleep and you know now it may not compare to you know two thousand dollar Tempur-Pedic or whatever but um, you know for under 300 bucks ooh, for a queen size memory foam mattress I think this is gonna be pretty good you can really tell that it's already pretty much expanded to its limit because you can see that this is pretty tight there's no more wrinkles in it in this uh, terry cloth cover. It actually is very uh, comfy feeling cover. It's kind of a shame because I'm going to put a sheet on it mainly because I don't want the cover to be, uh, you know, to get ruined or whatever. And plus, I like the feel of of cotton sheets beneath me. You know, I'm kind of old school like that. But it is pretty comfy feeling uh, material there. <laughs> um, if you look down here. You actually have a tag that actually says Hometics, has the Hometics logo. So, 
Um, and then this little piece of paper that comes with it. I still sincerely doubt this is made by Hometics. I don't think there's a real Hometics company anymore. I think it's just a name. Um, but if you look at this piece of paper at the bottom, it says uh, Sinomax. So that may be a, uh, a clue as to who manufactures. It might not be. It may just be another name within a name. But uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. So, um, yeah, yeah, I might not have mentioned it. I think I did mention it, but just in case I didn't, you might notice that the bed is sitting higher because <laughs> I actually went and got some bed risers. Uh, I forgot we had out in the garage. I'm going to try those out for a while and see how they do. Um, I like that it raises the bed up uh, quite a bit, makes it easier to get in and out of bed, and you need all the help you can get, especially if you have memory foam. That is one of the drawbacks. Memory foam makes it kind of hard to get out of bed. Uh, uh, but the only downfall to these uh, bed risers is they stick out at the bottom, and I'm always stubbing my toes or something. I think that's why I quit using it a couple of years ago, but I'll give it a shot again. Like I said, this is temporary. Eventually, I want to build my own uh, frame and foundation. So... Ooh, look at that. It just amazes me how how it went from being this thick Basically less than an inch thick to being 12 inches. That's probably closer to 10 uh, Realistically, but maybe once it's done expanding I might have to get a tape measure and measure it But whatever the case I'm pretty happy and I'll come back uh, I know my hair has got to look really screwed up. I've been wrestling with the mattresses for you know two hours, but uh, I'll come back in maybe a week's time and finish this video uh, and give my thoughts, but I think I'm going to be pretty happy. Well, so here we are a day later, or the next, well, the next day, <clears throat> and after sleeping on it for a night, um, as you can see, I made some half-hearted attempt to actually make my bed. Uh, I hate it having the bed against the wall like this. Um, it is a pain in the ass when it comes to actually making your bed. <laughs> so this is the best I could do. Anyway, um, it's actually really comfortable. A whole lot firmer than I expected. Granted, I'm used to sleeping with on a, an inner spring mattress uh, with a memory foam topper here for the last couple of months. Uh, it's quite a bit firmer than I expected, though. Um, granted, the, the website does warn you. I mean, it does say it the, the firmness level is pretty high, you know. It does say it's a firm mattress. Um, that may ease up over time, you know, as, as you sort, sort of uh, break it in. But you can see, I mean, it's pretty damn firm. But it's also forgiving. I mean, it is memory foam, so, I mean, there's no doubt about that. So, I haven't decided yet whether I will keep my old memory foam topper and just put it on top of this. You know, what could be wrong with even more memory foam? This is sort of the way I look at it. The only bad thing is, is if I put the old memory foam topper on this, then I'm going to run back into that situation where my damn sheets don't fit, you know. Uh, <clears throat> have to go looking for deep pocket sheets or try and make a king size sheet sort of fit uh, this queen size bed but you know I, I'm gonna give it another couple nights before I I try putting that memory foam topper back on um, and just see how it is but it's definitely well worth the money I mean it just oozes quality uh, which is something I can't say for a lot of the other uh, cheaper memory foam mattresses that I've seen you know you see these uh oh I hate to mention brand names but like sleep innovations and signature sleep they're great uh, especially for what they cost but this Hometics or Sinomax or whoever makes it uh, this particular mattress seems to to really exude quality quite a bit and I kind of like that for the price that I paid. And granted, this was actually cheaper than anything else I could find online. You know, a, a similar 12-inch mattress from like 
Amazon and the Sleep Innovation Signature Sleep type uh, companies, you know, they were upwards of over $300. This thing was $279, and I've actually seen it on sale for, uh, what was it, $229 or $239 uh, every now and again. So, at $279, it's a hell of a deal. At $229, I mean, it's amazing. So, uh, I'm going to give it another few nights and, and, and come back maybe a week and finish this video, wind it up. But so far, I mean, you'd be a fool, in my opinion, if you're even considering upgrading to a memory foam mattress, not to choose this one. And again, this is the Homedics 12-inch memory foam mattress. It's, you just look up Homedics memory foam mattress on Walmart.com and it'll be one of the first results that comes up. And you cannot buy it anywhere else. It's Walmart or nothing. Uh, I've not seen this for sale on Amazon or anything like that. Well, what do you know? Here we are a week, or actually, why did I say a week? Three weeks later. I think I did this, the opening to this video on the 10th of March, and here it is the 29th or 30th of March. And got a new haircut, too. Got rid of all the shaggy hair. Anyway, I'm getting ready to change the sheets. Uh, and I figured, well, that, now would be a good time to, to sort of wrap up this video and uh, talk about well my experience with the mattress I uh, I did end up trying to put my old memory foam topper on top of this memory foam mattress because I figured hey more memory foam that'll be great that'll be fantastic well it didn't really work out that way uh, <laughs> I found out that there is such a thing as too much memory foam um, I had that three inch memory foam topper and it made an already soft and and squishy surface way too soft and squishy it was very difficult to get into and very extremely difficult to get out of so the memory foam topper is rolled up in the closet I think my aunt is actually going to take it uh, for a small price family discount <laughs> definitely won't be the hundred and fifty dollars that I paid for the darn thing and uh, I've actually gotten quite used to the memory foam uh, the full memory foam mattress um, it was a little firm at first I think it softened a little bit as I've used it and as it's expanded you know the the remaining memory foam has expanded it's definitely still on the firm side uh, then again, the mattress is advertised as firm. Hey, there's a Pokemon. <laughs> the cat plays with that. And, uh, you know, it's definitely on the firm side, but it's advertised as so. You know, you can get softer memory foam mattresses. Uh, but it really does do wonders. I mean, if you've never slept on memory foam before, you owe it to yourself to uh, give it a try and this is a heck of a deal uh, for something that you know really something this quality I've seen the you know the Tempur-Pedics and things like that that cost thousands of dollars this thing you know you can get for well what was this was 379 I think for this thing I can't even remember now but it was well under $500 for the queen size and it is extremely high quality nice terry cloth protector and uh, let's see if I can get this sheet out without having to pull the stupid mattress out oh. again have I said it already I hate having a mattress against the wall just makes things a pain but again extremely high quality very 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 comfortable and you will have the best sleep you know that you've ever had in your entire life 
I always joke and say it's sort of like being back in the womb. It just cradles you. Uh, no pressure points. Wonderful stuff. So, this is the Geek Redneck with the Hometics 12 inch memory foam mattress from Walmart. Uh, go look it up and grab yourself one. Catch you guys later. <laughs> Well, hello, YouTubers. It's the Geek Redneck, and today is Monday, March 9th, 2015, and I kind of thought I would do a quick video uh about something new that i got and uh, well it might not be so quick now many of you will remember a few months ago i got myself or actually two months ago almost exactly i got myself a really nice three inch thick memory foam mattress topper which you can actually see kind of thrown over there in the in front of the closet door uh, pulled it off the bed. Very nice. Uh, was Serta, I think, was the brand, but it's actually made by uh, Sleep Innovations or whatever. But very nice, thick memory foam. Uh, I think it's either three or four pound density. Um, the thing has just been wonderful. And, you know, after sleeping on that for a week, I was like, oh my God, I've got to start saving up. To get a full-on memory foam mattress and uh, this mattress here that I've been using it's not a, a bad mattress by any means it's actually very nice I got it from Sears outlet I think and I think the retail was something like twelve hundred dollars or something crazy stupid like that uh, but I got it for uh, I think it was 418 plus tax so it ended up being about around 450 bucks and it's a very nice, I want to say it's either Serta or Sealy. It's a pillow top mattress. Very, very plush. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a good inch and a half there of just pillow, pillow top. Um, got this thing, I think it was back in May or June of last year of 2014. So it's seen very little use. Still very new, no blemishes, nothing like that. Uh, but, you know, after sleeping on that memory foam topper, and I had mentioned before that I've slept on memory foam, full-on memory foam mattresses in a hotel before, and the, it's just the best night of sleep you could possibly hope for. Uh, this thing, I keep telling people, uh, this memory foam mattress topper literally has changed my life, and it's not even really an exaggeration. Uh... Within a week of putting that memory foam topper on this bed, 